What's up, guys? Scotty2Hockey here, a.k.a. The Average Hockey Fan once again. And uh, I found a nice video on this channel called The Simbin. The guy's name is The Simbin. That's the name of his channel. Absolutely great channel where they show two periods, a game that was two periods in the Habs development camp. It was from two days ago because we can't get the feed here in Newfoundland. So I haven't been able to watch the games to see how our prospects stack up against each other. But one thing that really stood out to me in this game was the chemistry between Cole Caulfield and Ryan Paling. Ryan Paling seems really hard to get off the puck once he gets it. He skates it into the opposing team zone, and it's almost like he's looking for Caulfield every time. He has really good chemistry with uh, Yanni Fairbrother, too. He set up a really nice play for Yanni Fairbrother, and he got him a couple nice passes to the point where Fairbrother almost scored. <clears throat> In the game I watched, the very first goal was actually scored by Yanni Fairbrother. This is a guy who was drafted in this year's draft. He had three goals in this game. I've only wrote down five of the goals because I don't have a lot of time to do an, a big in-depth video, but I'd like to talk about a few of the goals I've seen. And the very first goal was absolutely beautiful by Yanni Fairbrother. He came behind the opposing team's net. He looked like he was going to go for a wraparound, and then all of a sudden he just started skating up towards the blue line. Out of nowhere, he circled back right up by the blue line, came right in a straight line, beat two defenders, put it past the goalie on the backhand. A beautiful goal. He looks like an excellent offensive defender. I don't know a lot about this guy. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to do my research on him. I'll do a video on him for sure. But from what I've seen in this game, he was excellent. Another player who really stood out in this game, he didn't score any goals, but he looked good defensively, and he caused a few nice turnovers, were Nick Suzuki. He caused one turnover where he came in, at a, he got the puck in his, other, in his own team zone, came down, uh, flew down on a breakaway, and almost scored on a beautiful backhand, but just missed. Another really good player in this development camp was Brett Pitlick. He's super fast. He looks like the fastest guy on the ice. And he had a nice goal, too, where he came in, used his speed to fly in, got into the opposing team zone, came straight in on the goalie. And he didn't beat him clean. It looked like he got it in on the goalie. It bounced off his pad, and he got his own rebound to put it in. But there were no replays, no commentators, no analysts. So it was kind of hard to pick out who everybody was and figure out exactly how the goals went in because there were no replay and you're just watching it happen as it's happening. Another guy who really stood out to me with the chemistry with uh, Ron Paling was Cole Caulfield. He had a beautiful goal from the side of the net. Paling got the puck. He passed it over to Caulfield. Caulfield was almost behind the goalie. He was almost behind the opposing team's net. He was right, like, dead on the side. Shot it underneath the goalie's arm. Beat him clean. Beautiful goal by Caulfield. And uh, McShane had a really nice two-on-one goal, too. Him and Gay were breaking up the ice two-on-one. Gay comes in on the right side, makes it look like he's going to shoot. Then he zips a pass over to McShane, beating the defender right underneath the defender's stick. McShane had to do nothing but put it in. Uh, the goalies looked really good in this, too. But honestly, they didn't show the back of either one of those jerseys. So you couldn't tell which goalie was which. And they, I couldn't even see the numbers because the numbers were only on back of the jersey. It was really hard to make out who some of these guys were, but so far the standouts to me at this development camp that I've noticed so far from the videos I watched, 100% Ron Paling, he looks like the best forward, Josh Brooks looks like the best defender, Cole Caulfield looks like the sniper he's made out to be, and Nick Suzuki that has handles and cycling and he's excellent, he needs to work on his speed a bit, but his handles and cycling are excellent. So I've really liked what I've seen from this development camp, guys. Go check out the Sim Binge channel for the full two-period game. This is Scotty2Hockey, a.k.a. The Average Hockey Fan, over and out.